Hi, in this two-part series, you'll see how I modeled and painted this 3D model. In part one, I've modeled and sculpted the meshes and then prepared them for texturing by retopologizing and UV unwrapping. If you like time lapses and short animations, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Sketchfab regularly holds challenges that encourage people to get creative. And being on break from uni and looking for a project to do, the Sketchfab hand-painted storybook challenge came at a great time. The challenge was to create a 3D scene based on a storybook or original concept. The competition is now complete and there are a bunch of amazing entries, so I put a link to the collection below and I heavily recommend checking them out. I decided to create a scene based on an original idea. So to begin the process, I needed to do some research and basic planning. I put together a mood board to serve as inspiration and pick ideas that I like, and arrived at a cool story, which is, a boy visits his friend's house for the first time and discovers that she's a witch. They get up to some mischief and have to clean up their mess. From there, I drew some very rough concept art. There are two familiars, a raven and a cat, who are basically unbothered by any events. I also decided to model the mother and another animal, this being a salamander, which the kids enlarged. With the basic concept done in a clear idea set, it's time to get into it. So the first thing I did was to block out the scene, just to get a feel of what felt and looked right to me, and see how I could space everything out. After I found the composition I wanted, I started to properly model the elements out. First off, the cauldron, since it was pretty simple, and I always like doing sub-D type of modelling. From there, I decided to prep all the assets I was going to take into ZBrush. The reason I decided to take the model to ZBrush is that my experience with ZBrush has been quite sporadic, mainly using it when I needed to, so this was a great opportunity to get a better handle of the software, to experiment and essentially fail at some things. I find that I learn a lot with my failures, as it just forces me to think about alternate ways or just better or more efficient ways of doing what I'm trying to do, if that makes sense. So for these assets, I felt sculpting the shapes of the bricks and ridges of the tree would make it look a bit more organic and help with the texturing, since it would serve as a good guideline for potential shadows and highlights.
After I'm satisfied with the sculpt, I import it back into Maya and move on to the next bunch of assets, mainly the interior assets. With all the major environment sculpting and modeling done, it was time to move on to creating the characters. There will be six major character models in total. Three animals and three humans. The animals I made in Maya and the humans mainly in ZBrush. First off was a raven.
Next was a cat. The raven and the cats are familiars of the mother witch and I wanted them to have a bit of personality about them. They have lives outside of all the magic and mischief. Like you can see the raven was reading a newspaper and the cat I planned to make a sort of gamer or just unbothered in general. As I was modeling the cat, I felt it looked more piggy than it did catty. So I collected a couple of references in Pure Ref and had her hanging around when I needed it. With that done, I moved on to the salamander. Its shape and form based mainly on a crocodile. Nothing too complicated, as most details would be painted in. With all the animals set up in their place, I couldn't help but feel the place was feeling a little bit empty. So I decided to add some more furniture and items around, as well as complete the outside environment in general. For the characters, I went into ZBrush to create them, starting with a little girl. You'll notice that I tried different methods and experiment a fair bit when it came to creating the body meshes. In this sculpt, I tried out the mask and transpose method for the first time when shaping out the head and body.
I try not to put too much time and focus on getting every mesh perfect since it would all be painted over in a flat shading, so any minor details would be lost in general. The hands definitely could have been a bit more anatomically correct, but it wouldn't affect the final scene much. With the mother though, not gonna lie, I wasted a fair bit of time. I was just having fun trying to get some form of anatomy correct, and started sculpting muscles when there was no need to. But one of the main reasons to use their brush in this project was to experiment and have a bit of fun, so no regrets.
the body base done, I took it into Maya to finish it off by modeling the clothes for her. With all the modeling done, it was time to prep for texturing by retopologizing the meshes and UV unwrapping them. Since I wasn't doing any major animations with the faces, I didn't need to focus on getting a functional edge flow on the facial features, which saved time. In general, this was a good way to get some practice doing retopology and basically refresh the knowledge I had already gained. Definitely still have a long way to go in finding a good edge flow and retopology that is completely functional and aesthetic, but I enjoy it. It really catches my attention since it's sort of like creative problem solving, if that makes sense. With the low poly mesh complete, it was time to UV unwrap all the components. With the girl done, it was time to move on and repeat the process for the boy and the mother.
for the environment, I had already exported out a lower poly matrix Z brush, but I reduced those more where I could. And finally, UV unwrapping the animal characters. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for the next upload. Also, make sure to check out part two where I paint the model in Substance Painter and complete the final scene. So, until next time, have fun.